Straight of that dos cinco dos baby, yeah. Y'all already know what's going on, man. So, first and foremost, man, let me give a shout out to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for winning um, Super Bowl Fifty Five. Shout out to y'all. I still don't like y'all still, you know, at all. You know what I'm saying? But you got to get credit where credit is due. Y'all had to go. Y'all went in there. Y'all went on the road to New Orleans, Green Bay, Washington, and y'all got it done. So shout out to y'all. But I know it's been a minute since I've actually came on here and talked about the Panthers. You know what I'm saying? So I figured I would just, you know, chime in. Because a lot has happened since the last time I came on here and talked about the Panthers. Now, <clears throat> what do you know? We looking for a quarterback. Even though I said from day one, the best thing to do is to just keep him. You got him on a one-year deal. For 19 million, just keep him. See what he do. If he look good, sign him. If he don't, let him go. What happened? Everybody kept telling me about Teddy Bridgewater. You know, and then the first couple of games, you know, he looked all right. I was like, okay. Well, you know, Teddy ain't really the problem. You know what I'm saying? It's it's the defense, or it was this, or it was that, and it was it was everybody else. Nah, it was Teddy. Um, <laughs> I mean, we lost eight games by one score. Eight. We lost eight games by at least one score, right? So, if we had a quarterback that could actually make a play at the end of the game, I mean, you know, we could be in the playoffs. You know? Um, so, it was crazy to me listening to um, people on ESPN and they like, oh well, you know the Panthers are desperate looking for a quarterback and they want a quarterback that can make plays and da -da -da. I'm like, you just have one, you let him go, you let him walk right out the damn door. And even though he didn't have a good year himself in New England, they still want more games than us. And he didn't really have for for anybody to really who really know football, yo. You're not going to sit up here and tell me that this shit he had in New England. Like, come on, dog. Are you serious? Who was he throwing the ball to, yo? Nobody. But yet they killed Cam this year for having a bad year. And, like, they didn't look at the roster. Why did Brady leave? Brady left because they didn't have nothing. So, I don't understand. Anyway. So, moving forward. Um, Teddy Bridgewater is not the guy. I, kind of, I mean, I, I knew that all along. I kind of felt like he was just, no pun intended, but just a bridge. <coughs> Until we got the guy that, that they wanted in. Um, I said from the beginning, all that tanking for Trevor and all. I'm not in the business of losing games. I, I'm, not, I'm not with losing games. That just creates a losing mentality and a losing culture. And I'm not, I'm not about losing. So, now... They tried to go after Matthew Stafford. They offered, I think, the eighth pick. Um, another pick and Teddy for Matthew Stafford. And it looked like it was going to happen. 
And then the Rams came out of nowhere and said, hey, man, I give you this. I give you all these first-round picks. And I'm like, he's 33 years old. Okay. And then they gave him golf. I'm like, damn, golf was just in the bowl. He was just in the damn bowl. Like, how did – now all of a sudden he trash? I don't know, man. You got to look. I don't know. <clears throat> that was kind of crazy. So he's off the table. Then you got Deshaun Watson. You know, a lot of Panther fans got hyped over him because he's from this area and well, he's from Georgia, but he went to school in Clemson, which is close to here. And, you know, they hyped about that. But then another another article came out, like Cam and Deshaun is close. And Cam might be telling him, like, look, man, you know, that might not be where you want to go. You can look at how they did me. I don't know. I don't think Cam would do something like that, but that's just what the article was saying. And then that kind of quieted down a little bit because the GM keep coming out like, I ain't trading Deshaun Watson. So, uh, now they're looking at the draft. Now I just seen Tom and Shea saying that we would trade. In his mock draft, he got us trading all the way up to the third pick to get Trey Lance. Look, man, let me tell you something. I like Trey Lance. Um, why? Why would you give all of that up just to go get Trey Lance? Like, why? Why would you do that? That don't make any sense. If anything, and this is just me. I mean, because you know, I'm just I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? But this is just me. If I got the eighth pick. And the price is too steep to move up to at least two. Or if I do go to three, yeah, well, I'll say at least two to get Zach Wilson. Zach Wilson and Trevor Lawrence would be the only two quarterbacks, in my opinion, that would be worth trading up to get. You know what I'm saying? Like, So I wouldn't – I would stay at eight. If I can't get Zach Wilson, I can't get – of course I can't get Trevor Lawrence. So I would stay at eight. Stay at eight, and then I'll pick – Either Penny Sewell, if he's there, or I would pick Patrick Sertain. I keep telling people this dude, Patrick Sertain, the coach from Notre Dame, Brian Kelly. Hold on. The coach from Notre Dame, Brian Kelly, who's a respectable offensive man, he's a respectable coach, period, told the commentator when Notre Dame was playing Alabama, he said, we're not throwing over there. That's the game plan. We're not throwing over there. He's that good. We're not throwing over there. Now, anytime you get somebody like that saying, like, yo, I'm not even going to throw it over there. Like, that's like, come on, man. Like, you have to draft for your division, right? So, in your division, you got Julio twice, Mike Evans twice, Michael Thomas twice. Be hard pressed to find a better group of wide receivers than that. Then look at the quarterbacks. We don't know what's going on with Drew Brees. Well, let's just say Drew Brees, Tom Brady, Matt Ryan. Those are who are in your division. You'd be hard pressed to find a better group of quarterbacks than that. So I've always said you have to draft to win your division first. You got to do that. Because if you win your division, you at least get a home playoff game. Right? So you gotta win your division. You looking at you look at the division and you can see, man, everybody got receivers. How do we combat that? Getting after the quarterback and finding corners that can cover. It's not that hard, yo. Now we do need a quarterback. So if I stayed at eight, I would get Patrick Satane. And then in the later rounds, I would probably get Kellen Mann, um, who I think is underrated somewhat. Uh, he's definitely not a first-round pick, but I think he's definitely, you know, um, second, third, you know, second-day kind of guy. But I think that the, the risk or the reward is greater, in my opinion. You can get somebody like him who... Um, who's the MVP of the Senior Bowl? And Matt Rule was coaching him. 
So, like I said, if you can't get one of those guys, I think you stay put. I think you stay put. Or even if you want to drop back and then get a couple more picks, that's fine. But I would stay put, and I would get either Penny Sewell, because then you'll have Penny Sewell on one side and Taylor Moten on the other side, unless you're going to go try to go get uh, Ronnie Stanley uh Rodney Stanley out of Baltimore. I, I don't, he gonna probably want. They gonna probably want. I don't know everything. All the picks in the world. I mean, you don't just you don't just let tackles walk out the door, especially like like him. Um, but I definitely would try to go get him. But if you can't, Penny Sewell. Then you got Penny Sewell, Taylor Moten. I know Taylor Moten's coming on free agency. I heard that they're probably gonna try to franchise him. So then you have Taylor Moten and, and, and Penny Sewell as your tackles. And then you can fill in the gaps after that. But then you get you got Matt Paradis. So you I think you stay put. You, you you answer you get a you get a you get a you get the best corner in the draft. Probably the best corner that came out in a little while. In my opinion, now this is my opinion. You get the best corner in the draft, then you get a quarterback. Who you didn't have to give up the the world for, who can actually sit probably for a year behind Teddy and learn. And he's mobile. He got a he got a he got an arm. <clears throat> That's what I think you should do. That's if you can't get up to go to go get Zach Wilson. I don't think Justin Fields or Trey Lance is worth trading up for now if they fall to you that's different but 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 giving up three ones or two ones and another in a two and all that to move up to get trey lance and and you still got bridgewater that makes no sense to me why would you give all that up and then still have bridgewater if i'm gonna give all that up it's for a starting quarterback you know what i'm saying like i wouldn't there's no way i would so <clears throat> Patrick Sertain, then I would say um, Patrick Sertain and then Keller Mine or Patrick Sertain gone, oh, you can get Penny Sewell. Basically, I would I would just go best player available at eight. I would see what the board does, see, you know, see what's going on, see who's trying to move up, who's trying to move back. <clears throat> and then go from there. I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't give up the whole house unless it's, it's for Deshaun Watson. If it's for Deshaun Watson, I mean, you can, you can, you can, you know, we we can get progressive, baby. We, you know, we can pull a name your price tool on that one, man. For real, I mean, what what you want? Hmm? You want eight ones? Okay, you can have it. <laughs> like anything they want, yo. Like you can have it, yo, for Deshaun Watson. I, I, I would take that, yo. I would take that. Like if you look at the Rams, I, the Rams don't even believe in first round picks. They just giving them away. I don't know. We, 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 give me Jalen Ramsey. He go two ones. Give me Stafford. He go two ones. I mean, they trying to win the bowl, and that's what it's about, man. For me, that's the kind of, that's that's the type of GM I would be. I wouldn't just be. I'll be ultra aggressive. Like other GMs, they phone around like, hold on. Yeah, we we are, what's up, Quan? We yeah, we knew it was you. You called me yesterday, bro. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Like that's how I would be. I'm trying to win, yo. Like this ain't my money. The, the jeans be acting like the cap is coming out of their pocket. It's not your money, dude. That's what it's there for to use it. Everybody's so worried about this, worried about the cap. What are we gonna do with this? What are we doing with? That? I don't know. But it ain't my money. It's y'all money. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm trying to I'm trying to win, man. I'm trying to put a team together to win. So the quarterback situation in Carolina, what what do I think is gonna happen? I think that they're gonna end up keeping Teddy. And I think they're gonna end up drafting a quarterback. Like I said, hopefully they don't give up everything and they go try to move up and get Trey Lance. Um, but I think the smart thing to do is <clears throat> if Zach Wilson is gone and you can't move up to get him, <clears throat> I think the smart thing to do is stay put, get the best player available, 
as it comes down to you, whether it be Penny Sewell, Patrick Sertain, whatever. It's one of them two, I believe, is going to be there. I'm not, you know, I'm not touching Michael Parsons no more. First of all, he can't play better linebacker, so I'm not touching him. Because if he, if we need a middle linebacker, so Patrick Chetain, Penny Sewell, well, I think one of those guys is going to be there. Um, I see that there's a couple of teams before us that'll probably get receiver heavy big time. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to see. But all this Deshaun Watson talk and, 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 I even heard Carson Wentz. Like, and to me, because I feel like, and I'm going to say this, man. I feel like we have we have a team in place. We have a playoff team, in my opinion, with the with, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Like, we, we, if we get the right quarterback, it's almost like the Brady situation with Tampa. Like, we're like Tampa Bay. You got a young defense, and we got all these weapons on offense. All we need is a quarterback to come in there and just take us over the top. That's all we need. That's all we need, yo. Like I, I mean, and we had that, and we let him walk out the door. But anybody, anybody keep talking about that. But moving forward, man, they gotta, um, they gotta really, really, really. Buckle down and stop looking so thirsty, man. My like, goodness, every quarterback, we be looking, we be looking real thirsty out here when these quarterbacks come out, boy. Would I take Wentz? For the right price, yeah. But for what Philly asking for him, hell no. And I like Wentz. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm one of the few people that actually think the dude is talented, which is. The craziest thing, you know, because I felt like he was in the same situation somewhat like Cam. Like, people really be acting like this dude has something to throw to. Like, why do we... I don't get it. And then Jalen Hurts come in, and then I guess he had some success. And I'm like, oh, well, if Jalen Hurts can do it, then Wentz should be able to do it. But they play two different types of style. Like, Jalen Hurts can run. He's more of a runner. That Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz can run, but he's not running like Jalen Hurts is running. That matters. That 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 puts a that puts a uh that takes a toll on the defense. Because now it's eleven on eleven now. You know what I'm saying? So that matters on the coverages that you got to play and how you game plan for them. That just matters, y'all. Yo. You're not worried about Carson Wentz rushing for hundred yards on you, but Jalen Hurts has that potential. So does that make him better than Carson Wentz? I don't know. But if we're not going to act like Carson Wentz ain't talented. That's what we can I don't understand why people are doing that. They're really trying to make it seem like this dude is just straight trash. And I disagree. Because I see this dude make some throws that ain't just very few people can make. And these are all facts, man. So <clears throat> I'm not going to just sit up here and act like he can't play. I feel like if he had if he had our receivers, our squad. A lot of pressure would get taken off of him because he would find he would have a running back. Last time he had something even close to a running back, they went to the Super Bowl. Like why do why people be acting like this dude had like a full deck of cards, dog? Like why we why I don't understand that. It's it's like we, I don't know. You're not gonna tell me the dude ain't got talent, man. Like that's not. If you saying that, you just lying to you. You just lying. You just you either you hating. Or you just lying. It's one of the two. You can't turn on Carson Wentz film and be like, that dude ain't talented. I think in the right situation, he can be successful. If he go to Indy, you'll see. If he go to Indy, I think he can be successful. He come here, I think he can be successful. Do I want him? I would definitely take him because it's definitely an upgrade over uh, Teddy Bridgewater. It's another name floating around there, and that's Dak. Dakota, 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 Dakota. Mm. Would I take Dakota Rain Prescott in Charlotte, North Carolina? Hell yeah, I take. Bring, bring, bring me four, man. Bring me four. Hmm. 
bring me four, man. Yeah, I'll take him. He better than Bridgewater. And like I said, you know, he, he showed me last year. He was out there airing that thing out. I said, okay. He's been he's been working on his arm. You know, so plus I think we played Dallas this year. I think we played Dallas, yeah. Sure do. So <clears throat> ain't nothing like a good old revenge game. I'm just saying. But uh who else in Florida? There's Dak Wentz, Deshaun. Not really. I mean, Jimmy Garoppolo. I mean, of course, I would take him because I think he's better than Teddy. But um, but for me, it all boils down to Deshaun. I would take that. I would take Wentz. Because I'm telling you, man, if the right quarterback get here, they're gonna be like. I, yo, the quarterbacks around the league got to be looking at Carolina like, damn, like, like they really, like, they this close. Like, look what all they got on the offense side. Like, and the defense is young and improving. You see what I'm saying? So, like, man, if I could just go there and, and, and you know, not turn the ball over and put them in, in bad spots, then, yo, we can win these games. Yo, we had eight games we lost by one score, eight. We lost to Kansas City, I think, by two points in Kansas City. Like, why? How did that happen? Like, we Green Bay game. Like, all these games was just close. But hey, the quarterback, man. It was just something about that second half of the year, man. He just, I don't know what he did. What somebody might have said something to him or what. But this dude don't even look at the tight end. He don't even look over there at all. He don't even entertain even throwing to the tight end. I ain't never seen nothing like it. People say, oh, well, we need a tight end. I mean, yeah, I agree with that, but we got one. Yo, Ian Thomas can play. He just didn't get, they just didn't throw him the ball. Bro, I ain't missed a snap. <laughs> I watch every snap, yo. I watched every snap. He threw an interception trying to throw it to uh, Ian Thomas. <clears throat> Teddy Bridgewater got played because Patrick Peterson um, ran down. He like he was like playing safety, and then he ran down at the last minute, and then followed uh, Ian Thomas. And he thought he was gonna be able to get it over there before he got there, but it's still Patrick Peterson interception. So Teddy Bridgewater had 15 touchdowns and 11 picks. Come on, dog. That's not even a touchdown per game. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, guy. You got to do better than that, dog. You got to win the NFC South, bro. We got to do better than that, man, for real. All these teams down here can put up 30. Everybody can put up 30 points, dog. Atlanta. Tampa, um, Atlanta, Tampa, New Orleans, they all can put up 30 points, man. I almost lost my train of thought, man, thinking about this stupid shit. But everybody can put up 30 points, dog. What we doing? All these all these quarterbacks that's out here, like, I get it. I'm, I'm glad that we are actually trying to make a move, and that lets me know that we, you know, that he meant it when he said that he was going to be aggressive, and that's good. So he's being aggressive. That's what's up. So, like I said, I would take pretty much the majority of the quarterbacks that's on the market. Like I said, Dak, Deshaun, Carson Wentz. I would definitely take either one of them over Teddy Bridgewater. Because I feel like they all can make plays when it ain't nothing else. They can make something happen. They can make something out of nothing. You know, I ain't, you ain't got to have the biggest arm in the world. But, bro, if you got DJ Curtis, Sam, if you got DJ Curtis Samuel, Robbie Anderson, and Christian McCaffrey, yo, what quarterback wouldn't want that? Like you got, you got one of the best run, best young running backs in the league. You got one of the best young receivers in the league. 
what who wouldn't want that? Like it's right there, like for the taking. Somebody just gotta take it. If we would have got Stafford, I'd have been like, oh, okay. Shit. We can make the playoffs with that. And then see what happened. But hey, again, what do I know? You feel me? What the hell do I know? But yeah, man. I just want it's been a while since I came in. <clears throat> I just wanted to let y'all know what I've been thinking about. You know what I'm saying? I kind of just wanted to sit back and just see how everything was going to unfold, you know, before I jumped on here and said anything stupid. But just a review. If we can't get Zach Wilson, I would rather stay put at eight, get the best player available, whether it be Patrick Sertain or Penny Sewell, preferably Patrick Sertain. Um, as far as the quarterbacks and free agency, I would take Deshaun, Wentz, or Dak if they're available. Um, no questions asked. So we're going to see. We're going to see, you know, what Scott Fitter will do, the new GM. We're going to see what he do. I'm glad that Matt Rule got a chance to go down there and coach the Senior Bowl. He got a real good look at everybody, along with Phil Snow. He got a real good look at everybody. So hopefully we got a you know insider information, you know, with with, the, with these guys that's coming out this year. So like I said, man, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to your boy. I always told you, man, we gonna get bigger. You know what I'm saying? We will get bigger. So like, comment, subscribe, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Hit them comments up, man. You know what I'm saying? I respond. Like, I don't care what you say. You can say Quan, you an idiot. Like, it don't matter. Whatever you want to say, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Just just, just comment, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's get this thing going. Get this ball rolling on who you think Carolina's going to get, man. You know what I mean? I'm out. Bye.